So hi, my name is Lars Gustafsson. Uh, been with the company since uh, 12 years, back since uh, 99. Started up as an artist, uh, been uh, producer in 1942, lead designer for Battlefield 2, then creative director for the franchise and for, for the studio later on. Uh, currently I'm working as a uh, multiplayer lead designer on the upcoming title Battlefield 3. So being creative director for a number of years uh, and then going back to, to uh, multiplayer level design, uh, why would you do that? It's a, it's a good question. Uh, it could seem like an odd choice, uh, but as DICE has grown, we had for a long time, we had the, the goal of DICE 300, more people, more teams, more projects, but it quickly gets out of hand. You want to grow uh, while maintaining quality. And we also noticed that people, uh, a lot of the experienced people, get very far from the products. Uh, so, so you get a lot of uh, kind of, it's harder to get your ideas through. By pushing down the experience into the teams again, we, we gain a lot within the teams at the same time as uh, you can still push a lot of the same agendas as creative director uh, from above. But, uh, Making games is very much, it's like fruit. It goes bad after a couple of days and you really need to, to keep one foot in game development constantly to, to really stay with the train. Otherwise it's going to pass by. Uh, so, and to be honest, it's for making games I, I came into the industry. Uh, so now I get to, to kind of benefit from the two, you know, the best of the two worlds. So how did I start in the industry? Well, uh, I mean, I'm at the age of 42 now, so around 30 while, when starting. And I had been doing everything from accountancy, ventilation ducts, uh, you name it, and I've done it. Uh, but Friends and the Balloons Band said, basically, you need to do what you love doing, not keep on just doing things because you need the money. Uh, so I went away, studied for a year uh, computer graphics, started applying for, for uh, you know, the movie industry, but mainly the games industry. and. I had heard of DICE, but didn't really think I could make a living there. Uh, started applying and was lucky. One of the guys in the blues band actually uh, gave me a tip about uh, Refraction Games hiring. So I managed to get in and, uh, of course, after doing all these tests. and It's amazing to see. I mean, I sit with the people every day now with artists and if it's not thousands, it's freaking millions of polygons building the things we have. During those days, I got the task of building uh, a boat out of 30 polygons. Uh, and it's, I mean, it, it looks like someone has been, had been carving it out of wood. Uh, had to do it again, so I did another the, uh, military jet fighter. And then a lot of drawings and stuff. And, and I managed to get in. And it's, I still remember the day walking to, through the old town here in Stockholm and, and coming to work and living in Stockholm, getting to work with something I loved. And I've never looked back. It's stressful, it's a lot of responsibility, but I love doing it.